What is up guys and today it's been a little while since I've worked on a Miata so we're going to show you how to do a clutch master cylinder in a 2000 Mazda Miata special edition. So the clutch master cylinder in this one sits right here as you can see. The outside part is pretty straightforward. You're pretty much only going to have the one line that connects to it here and you're going to have two nuts, one to either side. But before you can do that, you've got to go inside to the world's most claustrophobic interior because you've got to disconnect the shaft from the pedal right here. And if you can see this, the pin that runs through that shaft, through the pedal right here, is what we've got to do, what we've got to deal with first. There's a little clip to this side that you've got to hook with something and pull out. Then you slip this pin out of the pedal assembly. So I'm going to do that first. Now that we're out here where we can see a little better, this is what this pin looks like if it'll focus okay and you're gonna have it's gonna sit in there and this little clip right here is gonna be what's gonna be around this so what I do is I do a 90 degree angle pick to catch the open part at the end here and you should be able to pry that right off then you're just gonna pry this out of that pedal assembly. Now once you've done that, the inside is finished. With the inside loose, all we've got to do is take these two outer nuts off and remove this, which is basically the same as a brake line. I would definitely recommend using a line wrench. Take those three off and then this should slide this way and up and out. I also recommend if you have the means to suction the fluid out of this reservoir before removing this and taking the line loose i would definitely recommend doing it just keeps from making as much of a mess also you're going to want to guard the paint under this because brake fluid is highly corrosive and is not good for your paint so throw some rags under that before you get started to keep from causing rust damage down there last tool that i found to do that line is this flex head 10 mil line wrench this is everything else this rod actually just sticks into the back of this if you want to line all that up in car you can leave this in place and just pull this i pulled this out anyway because i want to be able to clean all this up and just because to me it makes it easier to get it in and make sure it's lined up correctly so here is the new one so now I'm just going to get this back in and then we're going to put the rod back in but first I got to clean this thing up okay once you've got the outside put back together I'm just going to take the rod and find the hole that it came out of up there push it back through that this is really hard to do one handed by the way once you've got the rod pushed back into place where it came out, you're just going to take the little pin, stick it back through. And if you're down here doing this and you drop the pin, it probably went under the dead pedal. But fortunately, the dead pedal is really easy to remove. It's just these two nuts that hold it down. And then once the pin's back in and the clip is back on the pin and the dead pedal's back in, you are all set. The only thing left to do at this point is to bleed it. I've already put fluid in this one. Bleeding it is pretty much just like bleeding the brakes on your car. There's a bleeder screw down at the slave cylinder, which is over on the other side on the bottom. You'll just need another person to press the pedal up and down to get pressure down there and push the air out. That's pretty much it for this one. So make sure you like this video and subscribe so you can get more of this kind of content on car repairs and car stuff. And for a little added bonus, here's what it looks like when a six foot three person tries to get into a Miata.